Okay guys, today we're going to be putting in a new sink, but up under here, as you can see, I've got the valve for the cold water off because this one was leaking. Now you can put seals, there's like a gasket inside of here, I don't know if you can see it, a little gasket right inside there. Uh, it was leaking, so there's another view of it. You can change them, but... I just went ahead and bought a new one. It was 10 bucks, so we're going to go ahead and um, put this one in. That's what we're going to start with. So stay tuned, and we're going to change this sink out and put that sink in there. Okay, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is let me get a light on here for you there we go is we're going to put that new valve in we're going to take the line off of that one we're going to unhook the drains which we just fixed remember and then around here you see around here we, we got a it's like a straight screwdriver um, that's what holds the sink down to the cabinet we got to take them out and we'll lift that out but first let's go ahead and let's put our new let's get this set up here I got a bucket under here and I got a, a towel just in case so let's put our new valve on here Valve. Got our little wrench. See, this comes. Let me show you here in a second. This comes with a um, a compression fitting, and that I don't think I'm gonna need one. I think this one will be fine. So I'm not gonna have to cut this one off. Same way with this. I'm not going to need this one, but I will save them. They're good for the uh, the ferrules here. Are good for airlines and stuff. Uh, okay, so I'll get this stuff out the way so I don't lose it. I set it over here for now. Now we're just going. <sighs> I'm going to try to do this without getting in your way. This is a uh, half inch to three eighths or three eighths to half inch or whatever. I, I don't know why there's still that much water coming out of there. Well, kind of I do because um, our lines don't come up through the floor. They come down the wall. They actually come up out, out of the into the garage. They come up across the ceiling you know up into the attic and then down this wall so that it does hold a lot of water so let's get this tightened up here in your way I'm sorry all right I kind of put it at an angle I may have to turn it a little more I don't know how long them lines are on the uh, new sink so now let's go ahead I loosened this one earlier so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off now Yeah, it's kind of crazy about that tree limb. It's just, you guys will see it. I'll, I'll do a video of it just on the, on the CC camp, the 
closed circuit the security cameras man you guys remember what was it Thursday I just just moved that car Thursday and it was yeah it was Thursday Okay, now we're going to take these back off again. Maybe. <laughs> Let me uh, see if I can get you somewhere where you can see this. Really, not much to see, period, but. This one over here. He's <sighs> <sighs> down out of here. Here, so I don't lose that. All right. All right. Now I'll have to take these off. Whoops, these, and I'll put these. You guys ain't seeing none. Damn it! Sorry. I have to take these off and put them on the new sink. Okay, so that's ready. Now what's going to be next is these things here. Now all they do is just clip on. I'm not going to bore you with that. Uh, I may show you one, but let me get these taken off and then we'll we'll uh, lift the sink up out of here, okay? So let me go get my screwdriver. Okay, I know it's not a very good angle, but there's a little slot in these. You just, you just unscrew them. That's all you got to do. Once you get it loose, should be able to just turn them sideways and I'll show you that just like that see it's turned sideways opposed to that one and that's all I'm gonna do is turn them sideways and we'll lift the sink out so let me get that done Sorry about the camera work, but I can't have Monkey help me because there's only enough room for me down here, so, or one of us. Alright, so let me do that. Okay, I only had to do six of them because the ones in the back are too close to flip around, so it only had two on each side and two in the front. Excuse me, in the front, so now you should be able to just pull your sink out. Just like that. Uh, you can hear them things falling off. This is what they look like right here. See? And they just slide into a groove in your sink. You turn it, and that, that just goes on like that, and you tighten it this way right here with this little, little thing right there. All right. Now, before I put the new one in, you can see how nasty this stuff gets. We're gonna we're taking this back splash clear out of here because it's no good. Uh, eventually, the whole sink's gonna be replaced, but right now this is all we've got. So we don't have the five grand to put new cabinets in yet. Now on this thing around here, you'll have I'll show you here in a second. But there's like a putty that's supposed to be around there, and I don't see any on this, and there's none on that sink. So 
I do happen to have some putty so that's we're going to put some putty around there that just keeps any splashed water or anything from going down in to here so that's another thing that they didn't do and as you can see it was draining down that way so let me get that done let me get my putty and we'll prep the other sink okay they're pretty much the same sinks so uh, but I went ahead and replaced I'm just going to replace it all the whole thing so that way it'll be a little bit better for now see on this one like this is what I was talking about right here so I'm gonna have to take these off and put on there which is no big deal so let me go get my stuff and then I'll show you how to prep that sink all right now we're going to take our plumbers putty and I'm just going to take some of this and I'm going to make just like back in the Play-Doh days, I'm going to take it and roll it like this. And I'm going to take a bunch of it and I'm going to put right around the edge of this thing something like that. Okay, just like that. And then once we get it on there, it'll squeeze down and squeeze out and then I'll show you how to trim that. Now these things are real easy to put on. You just take them, there's little notches in here every so often. You slide them in them notches, move it over. And just grab one here. I'm gonna do that all the way around there, except for the back, because I'll be wasting my time because because of this it doesn't you know it's not gonna have room to to uh, clip around oops clip around that see what they do is is they go on like this and then as you tighten that it squeezes the and I've got this all cleaned up around here but that's how they do that so I'm gonna put these on and I'm gonna make my my snakes out of my plumbers putty over there Okay, and we'll be good to go. Alright, so let me get that done and get that around there, and then we'll set the sink in. I may go ahead and put these on here while I've got it upside down. That way I don't have to do it on my back up underneath the sink. So stick with me. Okay, so now we're gonna put these in. Now there's a little plastic gasket on here. Okay, keeps it from leaking. And it goes in here like this. This goes like this. Now I've seen guys put some plumber's putty around around here. You shouldn't have to do that. If you do, chances are that's bad or this up here may have a crack in it, but you sh shit, you shouldn't have to. You should not have to. Uh, I know I'm making a mess, guys, but it is what it is, right? You shouldn't have to uh, put plumber's putty on there. Besides, once you squeeze it around there, it'll clog up them holes. So that's all there is to this. I wish these were a little longer. And then you just tighten that down, same way with this one over here. Get that goopy shit cleaned off of here. Alright. So now we're going to set this one up here. Now like I said, I'm not, because once we get our new countertop in I'm going to be replacing all this stuff brand new myself so uh, I'll be putting new drain in down underneath you know that well I should call them the traps I'll be putting new traps in and it's all going to be new we may even put a new a new sink in because we want a deeper sink so I mean if you're going to do it do it right 
correct? Okay, so now these, they don't have to be done a whopping tight. Just give them a little snug. That's all it takes. Just a little snug like that, because that's plastic. You could strip them or crack them. So, there's that. Now I'm going to move you back here. Put our lid on here. We've got our plumber's putty runner. You can also put it around, like if you've had your sink out, you can see the line where the old putty was. Well, this didn't really have putty. It had some on the back, but uh, you can also put it around there if it's easier for you, which I probably should have done. I thought about it, but I didn't, but that's okay. We'll just see if we can get this down in here. Just lost one in things, but that's okay because I can uh, with those notches. You can put them, put it on after it's in, after the sink is in. Well, guess what, guys? The sink. That other sink is bigger. I didn't measure this way. I only measured this way. Look. So, <laughs> I gotta do all this again. So I gotta take this out anyway and put in this sink because this sink is farther this way, longer that way than this one is. Apparently. Okay. Well, let me do that. I don't know why I didn't measure that. Okay. Let me do that, and then we'll we'll start where we uh, left off here. Okay, guys, round two. Put this old nasty ass thing back in here. You just go around. If you notice, this time I put it down onto the counter first. Doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to tighten it down, and most of that will cut itself off. So I'm going to go under here and get this tight, and then I'll have to have her, if she will, clean this for me so I can put that faucet in there. So I'm going to get under here again. And I'm going to put our little things in. And then we're going to hook everything. Well, I need to get this cleaned off and then we'll, uh, we'll hook everything up. Let me get under here and get these started. hand to work okay now all you do damn it, is take your screwdriver which I just had in my hand well get as tight as you can with your fingers first and then take your screwdriver and just tighten them down so I've got more to put on the other side over here on the right side and, <coughs> and that'll be uh so that'll be tightened down so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll put the faucet in okay. 
that's all there is to that. And you can save this stuff, guys. If somebody tells you all oh, you can't save that, yeah, you can. Nothing wrong with it. As long as it's in an air airtight container, sure, you can save it. So more. there's that, huh? It didn't work. So that's all there is to that. No, see this one's deeper, this way. Oh. That one was skinnier, it fit this way. Yeah. And it's the same depth here, but this ain't as wide back here. Oh. So, I had to do all this again, but that's all right. I'm sorry. It's all right. I feel bad. Well, you can redeem yourself if you clean this off for me. I don't know, what do you want me to use on that? Wash it, wash it? No, I have the water off. Get a rag and some spray stuff. So we will have to get a cap for this. Oh. It's no big deal. It's alright. Yeah. Alright, so there's that's all there is to that. And I'm going to do that all the way around. And, well... almost there anyway. And that's all there is to it. Again, you can use this stuff over. Everybody goes, well it's dirty. Well it doesn't matter because as long as you don't have a whole bunch of sand or grit or whatever. See you can save that and there's, see? So what if it's a little dirty because once you install your sink you're not going to see that stuff anyway. So there you go. So, Monkey said she'll clean that for me, and I'll show you how to put the faucet in. We'll get everything under there hooked up. Alright, so I got the base on here. I, I used plumber's putty on that, too. You just do it the same way as you did the sink. Oh, I'm tired. I'm sorry. It's alright. Making a mess here. And just stick this down in this hole. We're still going to have to get that block off the plate. That's no big deal. Mm -hmm. You want it here? What? Your shut off or on the side? Uh, the side. Yeah. Alright, so now let's go down underneath and I'll show you how to put this thing on there. I just noticed something. I had this light for about two years, and look. It's got a low, medium, and a high. I never knew that. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. Okay. So, we've got to get... Got a little rubber gasket. Huh? What? What? Yeah. And make sure you get this up in here. Will you hold that faucet for me, hon, in place? Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna this one's a little different. As you can see, it's got screws to help tighten it. Alright. Run this up through here. I can't believe I got that first shot. Make sure you start these straight. It should spin on just like that. That's weird because I can I can see I can see me turning that on there but I can't feel it. Pretty neat, huh? Well I mean Okay, is it straight where you want it? Yeah, I think so. Your it and everything on the right side. And 
good. Yeah. So now I'm going to try to get that to where I can get to all three of them real good. Now, Did you want this gonna to get my this screwdriver. Right. And those three screws is how you tighten this. I kind of like this setup. You just tighten these screws evenly. Again, they don't have to be super duper duper tight, but you want them pretty snug. So your faucet, so your whole spigot's not moving when you go to turn your faucet head. You faucet head. That's gonna go like that. Let's tighten this one a little bit more. Now I'm just going to grab this. Okay, can't move. Now we've got we've got this end here. We hit right there. Now all this does is it sticks up in there like that. That's all there is to that. And there's your little ring you pull down on there and make sure that's tight. Okay. There, just like that. There we go. Now, you can't mix these up because they are, they've got red for hot and blue for cold, of course, stripes on them. See, like that. So we're going to put our red on here. Just want to make sure I'm not getting that crossed there. I didn't I want to make sure this see some an issue that we have with the other ones sometimes the hose will get caught like around that. No big deal. So this one's going on nice and smooth because everything's pretty much brand new. This one doesn't feel like it was straight, so I'm just going to take it off and start it again. Sometimes if you turn it backwards, you can feel it. See, there you go. You can feel it like level itself out, you know, and then you can tighten it up. All right. Now I already showed you guys how to do this thing, so I'm not going to show you again. This. I'm going to hook these up. I'm going to tighten these down. You just snug them. And then we're going to try the faucet. Okay? So I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, guys. I had to put the old one back on. So we got to take this back tomorrow because it would not turn on. It was jammed. Now, we worked it, and it is working now. But who's to say that it doesn't lock up again in the on position, and if I have a leak, I can't shut it off. It's going back $10 for shit like that. Okay, so. Try it, monkey. top button stops it yeah for when you pull that out yeah so well you want to grab, grab a hold of it no oh, that would be nice got a nice spray on it Whoa. so there you go guys remember not don't just measure one way like I did measure three ways measure your width your length and your depth Cool, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Awesome. Is that hot that way? I yeah. Okay. That's hot. That's cold. Okay. I think. Yeah. yeah. That's cold. It's not that hot. That should be hot there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Top button stops it. Yep. 
bottom button. Spray. Spray. That's kind of nice because if your the hands are yeah. not having to remember, hold don't so don't yank this no, no. out of there like that. Cause see that? You have to hold on to it. Yeah. yeah. And that's where a lot of people break in things because they just grab that. Go like that. Yep. So there you go. So I made a little boo boo, but that's all right. We had this issue. That's okay. This is going back. I'm not, you know, spending ten dollars on something that that's not going to work right. Yeah, it's working now, but like I said, who's to say it's going to work if I have a leak or I need to shut it off to change this stuff again because it's going to be changed, you know, anyhow, right? So, and then I won't be able to shut it off. So and now she's got her little stoppers that she never had before. You turn it, don't force it in. You know what I usually do. Yeah. Okay, see that? That's got to go in that slot down there. So you don't force it, you know what I mean? And then you turn it like that. There you go, there's your stopper. Yay, got stoppers. Yeah, you got stoppers. So you didn't have that one right, you had it like that. Hmm. See that flat spot? It's got to go in that slot. You should never have to push her hard on that. Okay, so there it is, guys. Ah, stupid. So that's cool. And here's the buttons up here. Okay. And it should stay. Okay. And there's your stop button in case you want to move the hose around. You don't, you know, force people. So. There it is. And. Okay, so all we gotta do is get stopper for that. We're good. All right. Cool. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. I'm sorry it took you so long. It well, was so that hard. was my fault. That was my fault I'm because so I didn't. Sorry. Uh, my brain ain't working right, but that's okay. Because I did. <laughs> everything was perfect except for this way. Really? Yeah. See. Aww. Now that I look at it. But it's only like a quarter inch this way and a quarter inch that way. You'll see on the video. But. Mm. That's okay. So, that's all right. We're good, guys. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Yeah, and because... And it's so much nicer to be up so high. Yeah, because the other one, wherever I put it... It's right there. Yeah, you know this... It's too low. Yeah. And it makes it hard to get big If you got a deep underneath. sink, it's okay. But yeah. see, this faucet's not really made for this shallow of a sink. So, we wanted one that comes up there, so there we go. Yeah, and this will do for now, and then when I get my new new cabinets and stuff, we may go to another one, a different one. Or, or we may keep if that. this one works well, we'll keep it. <laughs> and then we'll just maybe you know? change out the sink or something. Yeah, I mean, if it's working good, we'll keep it. Yeah. Because it's not that old, I mean. No, no, yeah. and it was worth a lot of money. So, but that's why I still got the bucket down under there, just in case. And I know that old one was dripping, so I'm going to keep that bucket under there. Everything seems to be fine. Um, so there you go, guys. That's how you do that. Just remember to do your measurements. I didn't do my measurements right, but that was my fault. I'm only human. We fuck up, so that's why I left it in the video. You know? Yeah, well. Because not everybody's perfect. You know, this ain't this ain't this old house where Bob Vila does everything perfect. You don't see behind the scenes everybody else doing it for him. No. And then and them screwing up takes. too. You know, I mean, we all make mistakes or yeah, we're not but it's human. Good to, to show the mistakes so then, you know, people don't make those mistakes. Yeah. I mean you you could do income. you could do a hundred, but a hundred and one. Yeah. You know, you're going to screw up. But that's okay, guys. So at least we know that I am human now. And there we go. And you turn that little thing. And just like that. I got two things right. out of that sink, and I'm pleased. Yeah, so. And then we'll just sell that sink. Yeah, the stoppers came with it. Yeah, if I can't get five bucks out of that, I'll clean it up, of course. But if I can't get five bucks out of a stainless steel sink. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. I was going to change these things but I thought ah, screw it I mean they're kind of dinged up ours are not see yeah so yeah. and ours are stainless clear down in here oh. see what I mean yeah this yeah. is just a stainless ring yeah it's plastic so keep what we yeah. have that's fine that's good. perfect okay. makes me happy I'm fine yeah
There we go. Just put a little thing here. I mean, it, okay, the sink needs clean. We know that, guys. It's not, you know, the haters yeah. out there can kiss our ass. Come and clean it for us, you know, right? Uh, I will clean it. But, yeah, she'll she'll get to it, but not tonight. No, we, we need to eat. We gotta get something to eat and have a drink, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, guys, I'm going to start working. I've got a lot of videos to put up tonight, so. My consistent for now. <laughs> he always says that to me. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching uh stay tuned for the footage of the tree limb falling onto the truck you really can't tell it on the car but you can oh, see the truck move you can so. see it it actually bounced yeah I mean, yeah it bounced the truck but you can't see it hit the car but which was I mean, cool. if, if, yeah it would have been cool i mean not, not that cool, it happened but, but it's, it, cool. it's cool to watch something like that happen actually yeah we didn't you even know. think about the camera <laughs> <laughs> no, we was coming back from the hardware that thing. store. The hardware yeah. store is like, hey, I'll bet you the camera saw that. So. Yeah. All right, yeah. guys. Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend. I'm gone for now. Bye, y'all. All right, bye, bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.